Hi, this is a segment that we affectionately call Maria's Musings. They don't happen every day, but if there's additional information that we want to share with you that we can't do within the context of an in-studio guest, we set apart this time for that. Now, if you've been hearing about the TSA and all the folks that are grumbling about what's going on, and tomorrow being the most traveled day in the United States, and why is that? Because it's a holiday and it's, it doesn't have any religious affiliation, so it's all about our patriotism. And so it affects all Americans. Um, keeping that in mind, I was like, well, okay, so what's the big deal? Because my whole thing about security is if it makes us a better, safer country with a passage, then so be it. However, what I didn't realize is that the new search techniques allows the TSA screeners to use their palms and their fingers to probe for hidden weapons and devices around sensitive body parts, including clothed genital areas and breasts. In the past, the um, philosophy was that they would brush along the body parts with the back of their hands. So that's what people are up in arms with. So in order to avoid that, if you go for the full body screen, you can get a sight away from that. So that's, that's your choice. Now, people are upset about the full body uh, screening because it shows your body. The way I look at it is when I go to my uh, gynecologist, how many <laughs> bodies has she seen? It's part of her job. Oh, well, the same with the TSAs. I think we just need to get over it. So that's my personal opinion. You're entitled to yours. But so if you do want to go through the hand search, what they're saying is this. Metal studs, including bras with underwires, are going to set things off. Slacks are preferred instead of skirts because they're saying anything that's baggy might be able to hide something. So baggy clothing is going to require extra security and extra inspection. And that's why they're saying, so go through the scanning machines to avoid the hassle. Now some people, they're, they're asking them to boycott the scanning machine tomorrow to ask for a hand pat. And all that's going to do is cause more delays. It'll make the planes be uh, kept behind. I don't know what, quite what they're thinking they're going to do in that regard. So you obviously can make your own decisions. I would think that it would be better just to dress, they say, with sl shoes that slip off easily, pants, and sweaters that aren't bulky, or something that you can take off your jacket and remember that you're going to be seen. So, so somebody, a uh, council member from Los Angeles was saying, so sometimes I wear shoes and I forget what my feet are like. Sometimes I wear a jacket and I forget what my blouse is like underneath. So you just might want to factor that in before you leave. That's, that's all you have to do. And then I'm on this latest thing about organic and free range. And so I wanted to share with you, we shared a little bit last week with Nina, our pet correspondent, about turkeys. And obviously this is America and you can make your own choice. But you should know, and I'm going to think it's bear, it bears worth repeating, that the turkeys are like the chickens in that they are cooped up unless you get free range. So they're cooped up. They are stacked in cages. They rarely get to see the light of day or get to go out and explore the world. If they're one on top of another, obviously their feces drip down to one another. Um, the worst with the turkeys that I read last, late last week was that when they're born, they cut the beaks off so that they don't hurt one another with their beaks. And they sometimes cut off some of their toes so that there's more room in the cages for them. But the worst part in my estimation is, is that they inject them with growth hormones, especially the males, so that the breasts are bigger. What this is causing the male turkeys to experience is not only are they breast heavy, but they're unable to procreate naturally because they cannot mount the female or the hen turkey. So they do what they call, they milk the semen from the male turkeys so to inseminate the female turkeys so that we can have more turkeys. So you might want to keep that in mind when you're making your choices for this holiday. I know that I will. You're watching the Maria Sanchez Show right here on KADYTV.com. Thank you so much for your time. See you tomorrow.